Welcome back and joining us on the show now is Mr. Venkat Ramasanthwara. He's MD and CEO Seedworks. Uh, Venkat Ram, thank you so much for joining us. You know, my first question is, by this time, you, you guys would know perfectly on what seeds have been bought by what states and what are the farmers leaning towards. Is there any trend that you see for this Kharif season? Yeah, good afternoon and uh, namaskar to everyone. Uh, I think, uh, am I audible well? Yes, you are. Yeah, so we are seeing some supply chain uh, uh, limitations as far as cotton and hybrid rice seed is concerned, uh, largely because of the inclement weather which we had when these mm. uh, rice crop was getting harvested, and as well as uh, cotton went through some rough patch during the production cycles. So some popular brands of both of these rice and cotton uh, in hybrids definitely but probably even in some of the varietal seeds, we would see, uh, you know, some bit of uh, a supply chain uh, limitation in this uh, in terms of the availabilities. Okay. Uh, you know, the other thing really is there is some seeds that is distributed to the farmers and various uh, states have been taking that from the center. And then there is the hybrid and the high quality seeds. How do you see the market share as of now between all of this? Sorry, I could not get you very clearly. I was asking you, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was asking yeah, you uh, whether it's about seed distributed, hybrid seeds, and high quality seeds. How is the market for all of these? Okay, so uh, as all of us we know, hybrid seeds uh, are the ones which uh, you know, in terms of yield, in terms of the tolerance towards the pest, in terms of the weather vagaries and all, they hold good. And of course, in rice, uh, definitely we also see a lot of high yielding varieties from the university system as well as from the private industry, uh, which is there. And especially in rice, uh, we are seeing that, you know, uh, there is uh, a good pipeline of high quality varietal seeds also, which are there in the marketplace, uh, especially in, you know, across the rice growing regions of India. Barring that, if you take any of the other crops like corn, millet, mustard, cotton and all, most of it is actually hybridized, hybrid seeds. Mm. Since this is an international year of millets, how do you see India buying millet seeds? Well, there, there is a lot of, uh, you know, awareness uh, building around in terms of the millets. But for the viewers, I will tell you millets, uh, they, this is a whole family of millets. So pearl millet is one which is much more organized where large uh, private sector and public sector participation is there. Uh, apart from that, you have uh, sorghums and then you have ragi and other things. So the pearl millet prices have been holding good, uh, both in terms of the commodity prices. And also the fact is that this is one of the crops which is a very climate resilient crop. So large parts of Rajasthan, parts of Gujarat, MP and UP, anyway, you know, the farmers take this crop because they also get fodder and they also get yield. One of the things which was not happening right for these crops, especially in MP and UP, were for the last two years, uh, mm -hmm. there were dry spells for a long period of time, and then there were incessant rains, which kind of impacted some of the sowings. But hopefully, mm -hmm. this year uh, uh, we are seeing that uh, there would be a timely rainfall, and hopefully, millet will sow. Fair point that. I also want to talk about the overall seed industry and there is an IMARC report which says that at, in 2022, the whole seed industry in India was $6.3 billion, uh, $6 billion worth. By 2028, it can go to $12 billion worth. Do you see that kind of growth on a year-on-year -year basis? Uh, you're talking about the growth of the seed industry? The yes. Numbers? Yeah, so we are seeing a very good traction uh, and farmers' acceptance to the uh, high-quality seeds as well as the hybrid seeds which we are introducing, I mean, the industry uh, per se. And there has been a very good acceptance both in the vegetable segment as well as, uh, you know, uh, even in the field crops. Uh, I mean, either we take corn or hybrid rice or millets or cotton. But yeah, one of the things uh, which we are getting constrained at this point of time is some of the technology approvals which are pending and which hopefully if we get it probably you know uh, the difference uh, in the lives of the farmers both in terms of the yield as well as the quality and definitely you know his income levels can be much much more amplified mm. right uh, thanks a lot uh, for talking uh, us uh, through or taking us through 
the demand situation when it comes to uh, seeds. Good demand seen for some of the good quality hybrid seeds, though supply chain issues persist in a couple of segments as well. The year of the millets, let's see how that pans out. But uh, if you want to shell out some money for a TVS IQ, you will have to give any more, any, a, anywhere between 17,000 to 20,000 more for their 